What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Dear Glory, and if you're new here, my name is Mariah Lees, and today we're going to dig deep, deep, deep into a crucial aspect of hosting your own art exhibition, and that's setting a savings timeline. Now, I know the financial side of planning an exhibition can feel overwhelming. Trust me, I know. But with the right approach, we can break it down into manageable steps that make the process not only achievable, but also less stressful, trust me. Now, I wanna be clear from the start. In this video, we're focusing on funding your exhibition through income or personal funds. We're gonna break down how you can save up for your exhibition effectively, but I don't want you to worry too much if you're interested in securing grants or other types of external funding. I have an entire video, different video plan that will cover that in detail. Now, I do want to let you know that I've written an entire workbook on exhibition planning. It's 200 pages and it's packed from start to finish, step-by-step -step guidance, examples, and worksheets for you guys to fill out yourself when you're planning your own art exhibition. This workbook is packed with everything you need to know about planning your exhibition. And today, I want to focus specifically on setting up a savings timeline. But first, make sure you join the waitlist for the workbook using the link in the description below. Join that waitlist. If you join that waitlist, you will receive a special discount code when the workbook is released on October 2nd. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Make sure you join the waitlist, okay, for the workbook. It's going to be released on October 2nd. You're going to get a discount code. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys an example of one of my current savings timelines. Then I'll tell you guys how to apply it to yourself. And then lastly, we can do it together using the words book. If you follow this channel, what you'll also see over the next few months is me putting this into a real night, a real life action scenario. You're going to see, you're going to see me actually doing it. You're going to see the exhibition come to life, et cetera, et cetera. So let me share a little bit about what I'm working on right now. I'm currently planning a pop-up exhibition at the end of March, March 28th. I've already put aside about $400 and my goal is to reach $3,500 of, um, from our own funds from Elise Art Group, right? I've worked with a venue that I'm, I've worked with before and they're renting the space for about $1,000, which is amazing. Uh, that doesn't just happen because I'll be having the space for a few days. That's, you know, that's after gaining some trust over a few times but i'm still going to need about 3100 to put aside from at least our group from our personal funds from our personal at least our group funds now to reach that 3100 i'm breaking up how much i need to save per day from sales and other income streams and investment streams now if i divide 3100 divided by the days left into the exhibition it comes to about ten dollars and sixty cents per day so what I do is set up an automatic transfer of $74.20 into my Acorns savings account that covers that $10.60 daily target, right? Now in the workbook, I do have a section that breaks down everything you should consider when you're planning your budget. We're talking about things like venue rental, security deposits, photography, transporting your artwork, and so much more. When you start adding up all of these little details, little expenses, you're going to realize you need more funding than you initially thought. And that's why I also cover how to secure other funding of resources in the book. Now, that's for grants, that's for sponsorships. Um, there are multiple ways to make sure that you have financial backing you need to make your exhibition a success. These strategies can really, really help you bridge the gap if your initial savings target from your personal funds doesn't quite cover everything. I start with $3,500 because I think you can do it for $3,500 at a bare minimum level, right? Now, when you start really adding things up, things start getting more and more expensive. Um, and when they do, you want to explore other funding sources or, you know, hopefully you've made some money over time, accumulated to where you can do this over and over again um, with the money that you've made over time. Anyway, I think you do it for $3,500 or less uh, at the bare minimum. Now, let me tell you how I manage my savings. I use Acorns, okay? That's one of my investment accounts. I love it because it's super easy to use. For those of you that don't know, Acorns is a micro-investing platform that rounds up your everyday purchases and it invests your spare change. It's a really, really good way to start investing without needing a lot of money up front. I've talked about it on this channel before. Now, the reason why I use that is because I paired with an app called YNAB. That's Y-N-A-B. 
YNAB allows me to have different savings goals. Now, the reason I use Acorns in conjunction with YNAB is because YNAB can pull from my check-ins account on my Acorns or I can pull from my investment accounts on Acorns. Now, remember I just said that Acorns is micro investing. So what Acorns does is it doesn't matter how much money you're spending. If you're spending money on the daily or weekly basis, you can round up your change um, so if I spent $9 and 90 cents, then acorns will round up 10 cents and invest that for me. You could two times that three times that four times that five times that I keep mine on 10 times. So I'm saving as much as possible. As soon as I spend money and I'm investing as much as possible, as soon as I spend that money, when it accumulates, I let that money that has accumulated in investment pay for my exhibitions. So again, I use my acorns as an investment account and a checkings account, and I'm putting my money into my checkings account weekly, but I'm also spending money daily or weekly that's making automatic savings, automatic investments for me. And when I go over to YNAB, it allows me to set a goal and pull from my investments and pull from my checkings. Now, I hope that's making sense to you guys so far. The reason why I'm using an investment account to pay for the exhibitions is because I'm using the investment money. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm doing is I'm, I'm using my gains to pay for the exhibition. I'm using my gains from my investment from the exhibition in conjunction with the money that I'm saving, that I'm pulling from my income stream from Elise Art Group to pay for the exhibition. So again, I'm using Acorns investment account plus my checking account. I'm using gains plus, okay, gains plus profit. Gains plus profit. Gains plus personal spending are gains plus personal income to pay for the exhibition. That's why I'm using acorns and YNAB in conjunction. So let me double back. What we've talked about so far is the fact that I'm having an exhibition on March 28th. That's my timeline. That's my savings timeline from today to March 28th. We've talked about me needing $10 and 60 cents per day in order to meet that goal. I've already told you guys, I'm putting aside $10 and 60 cents per day into my acorns checking account now on top of my acorns checking account i'm pulling the money from my acorns investment account my gains from my investment over into the account that is specifically for the exhibition that is on march 28th so i can get to that 3500 dollars by my timeline or probably even faster let me know in the comments if you're following me. Let me know in the comments if this is making sense so far. Or let me know if I'm confusing you. I hope that I'm not. But let me know in the comments where you are with what I'm telling you so far. Now I want you to keep in mind my investment account is increasing on the daily. So the money that I'm investing into my Acorns account is not stagnant money. It's not linear money. It is money that is compounding in gains. It's going up in value. So what I'm doing is using basically free money to fund my exhibitions. Y'all let me know again in the comments if you want to learn more about that. Um, I could do an entire video on that because that's going to take some time to actually explain. But while I was talking about my savings timeline, I wanted to also insert how I'm saving the money. Let me know if it's something you want to learn, you want to be able to do. Let me know in the comments. If you want to start on your own, go ahead and download the Acorns app. I have a link in my description where you can use my code. It's going to give both me and you $5. You can download it on your own. Again, like this is just what I do. I don't have no type of code for YNAB, but I'll put a link to get that in the description as well. If you want to, you, if you want to use those two together, I'm telling y'all. If you want to be able to pay for your exhibitions, the best way to do is organize your money and to do it with investment money and free money. So back to my timeline, um, I have an automatic transfer of about $74.20 each week, which covers my daily savings goal of $10.60. And this way I'm consistently saving without having to think about it. Okay. Now, although I have a separate account for at least our group's expenses, I use my Acorns account specifically for exhibition costs. I'm keeping these things separated so I can stay organized. Everybody don't need this amount of organization 
or this amount of separation, but I do. So I'm telling you guys what I do. Uh, it's all about keeping things organized and make sure I'm on track for these exhibitions that we have throughout the year. Now that you know how I do it, let's talk about how you can apply this strategy to your own exhibition um, planning. First, figure out your total budget. Let's say again, you need $3,500 for your exhibition. Next, I want you to decide how much time you have until your exhibition date. Now, if you have six months, that's about, that's about 180 days. Divide your total budget by the number of days to find out how much you need to save daily. In this case, it will be $19.44 per day. Remember, we're talking about you needing $3,500. Uh, you have 180 days to do it, which means you need to save roughly $19.44 per day. To hit that daily target, you can automate your savings. Again, like I do with Acorns, you can set up a weekly transfer that covers your daily savings goal, like transferring $136.08 weekly to cover that $19.44 per day. Now, I don't necessarily ever recommend doing this in six months. I think if you're planning your own exhibition and you've never done it before, or you're looking to be a little bit more organized, um, extensive in your planning, I would recommend you doing 365 days, which is a year. But for this scenario, we're talking about 180 days, okay? So now that you have a clear idea of how to set up your savings timeline, you can dive into, you can dive even deeper into the process with the workbook okay with the work pages i'm telling you guys it's designed to guide you step by step through planning your exhibition including detailed savings plans along with your set your your timeline your savings timeline now if you don't want to use note app at all in the workbook i provided a 180 day savings plan and a 365 days savings plan that gives you varying amounts each day that you need to save now what that looks like on day one, you may save $5. On day two, you may save $10. On day three, you may save $15 until you get to 365. You have 365 targets. Now pay attention because it's on the screen. That looks like a chart with 365 different savings amounts in each little box, okay? And what you'll do is cross out the amount you save per day until everything is crossed out. And when everything is crossed out, that means you're at $3,500 in 365 saving increments. I also have one for 120 days. This is all in the workbook, okay? Let me know in the comments if you're following me so far. Let me know if this is valuable in the comments. Um, I hope that it is. The difference with these plans is it's a different amount every single day, which really gives you this hit of dopamine. It's like, how much am I going to save today? What's, what's, what's going in the bank today? Am I saving $10 today? Am I saving $15 today? What's going on? It, it, it allows you to kind of stay motivated and engaged throughout the entire process. But it also, it also allows you to save in such small amounts that you don't really feel it. There's a lot of different ways um, you can set this savings timeline um and you can go about saving per day so this is just one of them let me know the con i mean listen let me know doesn't this make it easier being able to save five dollars one day ten dollars one day fifteen dollars another day now to recap what we've talked about so far is your timeline how much time you have 180 days okay we're setting up your timeline i have 100 you have 180 days to to plan your exhibition you need x amount per day x amount per week to save you can do it that way that's setting up x amount per day x amount per week to go to your automated account another way to do it is the way that's in the workbook where we have 365 increments and for 365 days you save a variant increment again one day could be five dollars one could be ten dollars one day could be twelve dollars let me know if you're following me so far in the comments so i want to tell you guys what you'll actually discover in the entirety of the workbook before we continue talking about our savings timeline chapter one is going to be about um, planning and concept development two budgeting and finance three venue selection and preparation uh three creating and pricing your artwork four marketing and public relations Five is engaging with your audience and building relationships, which I think is really important. Um, chapter six is writing and documentation when it comes to your artwork and how to do that. 
Uh, seven is shot sheets for your videographers and photographers at the event. The next is preparing for your exhibition day. Next is event ex execution and follow up. Next is collecting payments from collectors and arranging artwork pickup. And the next is evaluating your success and planning for the future. And then we conclude. Let me know which one of those sections you're more excited about um the most uh, for me i was really excited to talk about budgeting which is why i'm making a special video on your savings timeline i think it's one of the most important aspects and i think it's the thing that holds people back it's the thing that makes you feel like you cannot do it yourself um so using the strategies that i'm teaching you about today hopefully that helps you guys kind of get closer to having the finances to actually do it you're an artist you're an artist you you understand your work you believe in your work you can create all day but sometimes that 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 um sometimes that struggle that challenge is getting from your studio and to having the work actually seen on walls and people actually being able to interact with your work so these are the type of things that help you get from that point to the end goal okay now another important tip is to build in a buffer build in a buffer please unexpected expenses have a way of popping up in life in general maybe you need to order more marketing materials maybe you need extra money for shipping and transportation saving four thousand instead of of thirty five hundred are saving an extra 10 to 15 percent on top of your thirty five hundred you're going to be preparing for any surprises that's going to come your way and if you're finding that challenging to hit your daily or weekly savings targets consider leveraging some hots leveraging some side income go pick up an extra job this could be taking on a few extra gigs selling smaller works or even uh i'll give you a real life example um teaching right offering art classes i know here in houston there are a few artists i set up with hisd houston independent school district where they are they basically have whatever freedom to go from school to school just teaching whenever basically wherever they want to supplement the fine arts programs that these elementary middle school and high school pro that these middle these programs that these schools don't have these schools don't have our programs find things like that in your city to supplement your income but that also aligns with your practice I also recommend setting progress points. Maybe every month, take a moment to assess where you are with your savings and whether you need to uh, adjust your targets. This is gonna keep you accountable and help you stay on track without getting overwhelmed. Now, let me let me pivot. I got some exciting news. A lot of you guys already know about this. I have so many signups already. I don't know when I'm posting this video, but on September 4th, 2024, from 7 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern, I'm hosting a special webinar on effective exhibition planning, and I would absolutely love for you guys to be there. We're gonna talk about so much deeper than what we talked about in this video about planning your own exhibition and a little bit deeper than what we talked about today. And we're gonna go through the workbook. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind, if you come to this webinar and you stay to the end, you will get the first chapter of the workbook for free. All right, we will give it to you guys for free, the first chapter. And the first chapter is about planning and concept development, all right? So you'll also get a discount code for the workbook that's coming out on October 2nd. But if you don't wanna attend the workshop and you wanna get the discount, join the wait list. <laughs> the link for that is in the description as well. Okay, but I really do hope to see you guys at the webinar. I th I'm excited. I mean, we get to be interact with one another. We never get to be live with one another. So I'm really excited for that. Now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was like a let's talk numbers video, but I think it's really helpful. I think a lot of this information you need to know, we have to talk about. We, talk about, we talked about your savings timeline. We spoke about a few different ways that you can save. You can do that through your check-ins account. Um, you can do that with automatic savings. You, I told you guys how I do it. I do it with my Acorns account in conjunction with my YNAB account. Um, yeah, it, it. there's other ways. There are so many other ways, but I'm telling you guys what I think you guys should do. Um, let me know if you have any questions and let me know if this was helpful for you. Let me know if you need to know more about budgeting and and also tell me in the comments what you're confused about when it comes to exhibition planning what you need to know more about let me know because that allows me to kind of take a step back and think about um what i should address for you guys on these videos interact with me leave me a comment in the description 
let me know that you want to know more okay and i'll make sure to do a video about it again thank y'all again for watching if you found this video helpful make sure to subscribe uh and join our growing community of artists and collectors and enthusiasts and let's make your next exhibition a success it can be it doesn't have to not be a success we don't have to have you know the starving artist mentality we can all succeed and I'm really just here to tell you guys about the journey that I've been on and what I've done and what has worked for me and then give that information freely to you guys. Um, this is my learning journey that I'm sharing with you. I would love to have you guys as a closer part of my community. So if you wanna join in more discussion, join my Patreon. The link for that is also in the description. Um, come to the webinar so we can get a little bit closer as well. The link to those are also in the description. I told y'all a lot today um i'm excited i hope you guys are excited we're on the road to glory together i want to encourage you guys to stay on that road to glory we almost there we trucking we getting there we doing all the things we can to be successful in what we call the art world these are the dreams that we had as children that people didn't believe in that you could actually be successful in the art so again we're all on the road to glory i want to encourage y'all because you guys encourage me uh, yeah, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Keep your head up. Keep pushing. Don't ever let them see you sweat. Ever. Don't ever let them see you sweat, okay? <laughs> I'm on the road to glory with y'all. Peace. I'm Mariah Lee's.